General Hospital spoilers reveal that with the current situation, TJ will most likely have to make the decision on his own. Willow has a very dangerous leukemia. She needs to be treated or her life will be in danger. Not to mention that Willow needs a bone marrow transplant. While Willow does not know who his biological parents are, finding a suitable marrow source will be extremely difficult. Willow's condition is getting worse and worse. TJ asks Willow to tr quickly treat, but she's still stubborn and delays it. Willow is pregnant, so maybe this is why she doesn't want treatment. The treatment will affect the baby in her belly. Willow already has lost a baby, so she won't. She doesn't want to lose it again. TJ couldn't convince Willow, so had to talk about this with Michael, hoping he would convince Willow. The hook killer attacked Diane while she was in the garage. Diane is discovered by Alexis and Gregory in a critical condition. She was quickly taken to the hospital for treatment. The hook killer really made people feel scared. He's clearly a professional assassin, not a simple criminal. This guy carefully investigated the movements of each object, then chose his, the right time to strike. There were three unfortunate victims he attacked, of which Brando unfortunately passed away. He was hit by poison, impregnated in the hook, and because he was not detected in time, he could not be treated in time. Diane is fortunate to have so many doctors to support, and Finn also prepares an antidote, so unfortunately she escaped death. She's in the process of recovery, however, it will not be soon to rejoice. Please still guard around the case, the hospital, in case the killer continues to attack Diane. And of course, the most concerned issue right now is the true identity of the hook killer. This guy is still lurking somewhere in Port Charles and is most likely targeting a fourth target. Swanee is very worried because the previous three victims are all close to him. This hook killer surely wants to threaten Sonny or make Sonny suffer. Sonny is forced to quickly find the killer. The first person that made Sonny feel the most suspicious was Dex. Dex is the one who just appeared next to Sonny. Although Dex receives a great deal of trust from Sonny, Sonny still can't help but be wary of Dex. Sonny questioned Dex and even tortured him cruelly. Sonny wanted to know where Dex was when the victims were attacked. Joss witnessed it all and she couldn't. She really couldn't bear to watch Dex being destroyed, tortured by her father. Joss stops Sonny and says she was with Dex when Ava and Brando were killed. Is that true or not?